Hey, Nor, uh, could I kind of sort of maybe borrow like $50,000? Why? Did you, are you running low on money? Yeah, I'm kind of sitting at like zero dollars and zero cents right now. How did you lose it? Um, a football game that turned out to be recorded. Michael? Yeah? Who recorded the game? I recorded the game. I thought it would be different if we watched it back. <sighs> Michael! Well, the only thing I currently have to my name are like about five fully written, ready to be published books just sitting on my desk. You know, if only there was some way to kind of make money off that. You mean you could publish it? Can I make, make money like money. that? I can? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Let me show you how. Sweet. I have more money for gambling now. Wait, no, Michael, no. <sighs> hey guys, Nord here, and here's how to make money self-publishing a book. But first, make sure you subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, hit that bell icon somewhere down below so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. Let's get started! With the increase of self-publishing, we have more books than ever because anyone can put out a book. A person who has never written in their lives can write a book about ducks in Antarctica and put it on Amazon and other platforms. Literally anyone, and I mean anyone, can do this. So how are real writers who want to share their work with the world and get compensated for it supposed to do so? It's simple, by following a few important tips. These tips are mainly for self-publishing, although most of these also apply to traditional publishing. First step, write your book. Oh my god, how did I know that? Lucky guess, I guess. Next step, edit the crap out of your book. Typos are not sexy and neither are plot holes. Next, hire an editor. This is costly, but it's definitely worth it if you want to have a professional story that's taken seriously. Here's how to hire an editor. First, message a bunch of editors who have a good reputation online, and then make sure you send them a sample of your work. This sample could be as simple as three pages, and then they will send it back to you with their edits. That way you could look at all the different editors and find the one that's perfect for your style and voice. You never want to hire an editor whose voice is completely different from yours because that will just ruin your story. Otherwise, it will sound like multiple people wrote your story, and like it doesn't really know what it wants to be. So basically, examine all the editors you sent your work to and judge them based on the cost, um, the quality of the work, and how well they mesh with you. Because at the end of the day, your words will be read by all sorts of critics and readers. And if you want to make money, you need to spend money. Once that's out of the way, hire a graphic designer. Their job is to help dazzle your readers from the moment they lay their eyes on your book. So don't just make the cover yourself. <clears throat> Nor from the past, didn't you do that with your first book? Leave me alone, Nor from the future. I was a broke high school graduate paying for college. I was a starving artist, sister. So yeah, don't skimp out on your cover art. A good cover artist may even do interior design and formatting for your book. Interior design is basically those headers on top of your chapter headings, or they might even do little illustrations on the inside of your book cover. Just like with an editor, you could hire a professional cover designer based on their quality and their costs. Okay, so at this point, your book is complete and you're ready to sell it and make them dollars, right? Nope. Publishing a book requires a lot of marketing, whether you're traditionally publishing or self-publishing. You must first reach out to book review bloggers, podcasters, and booktubers to see if they'll take an advanced review copy of your book before it releases. You must submit a press kit so they can learn more about you and the book to see if they would like to review your novel. If they do review it, you'll get more publicity on the internet, YouTube, social media, Amazon, Goodreads, the whole kit and caboodle. So this is a crucial step. They receive a free copy of your book in return for a review. You could either send an ebook or a physical book depending on how big the reviewer is. Next, you'll need to talk about your book a lot, but without annoying readers, which is a little tricky. The best way to do this is by making connections and having conversations with other writers and readers. Hey, how you doing? Not that kind of conversation, nor. You need to make friends with others who like books and talk about their book preferences. Every now and then you can mention your book. The more you make friends organically, the more they'll want to support you and learn more about your book. Here's a tip. 
The best way to connect with writers and readers is on Twitter. You'll also need to publish your book, of course, but if you do all of these previous tips, you are more likely to make money from publishing your book. Let me know in the comments, did you find these tips helpful? There you have it, how to make money self-publishing a book. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, check out my others, and subscribe because it helps me make more videos like this one. And as always, nor for president!